Good morning, everyone. I'm glad you're here. Thank you very much for joining me today. I hope everyone has a very safe Halloween tonight. Don't forget to watch out for the children. They're so excited about getting their candy. They won't be looking for cars or trucks, motorcycles, things like that. They just don't look for traffic. So keep that in mind. There was two earthquakes today that were of a large magnitude. The first one a cover was by Fiji, a magnitude 6.5. That one was very deep, 341.7 miles below sea level. I'll cover this one about Chile here in a minute. Um, no one said they felt this earthquake. Yeah, there was spreading because what we got going on here is magma coming up from the subduction of the Pacific Plate, then being recycled. And this is how we got all these islands that were formed. Let me bring it out. Yeah, there's several fault, fault zones through here. Subducting underneath the Tonga Trench. And then it comes back up and recycled. And that's how all these islands were formed. USGS gave it an intensity level of 3. The deeper the earthquake, the less it is felt. And like I said, this one was really deep. The next one was a magnitude 6.7. That was off the coast of Atacama, Chile. 27 people said they felt this earthquake. We have three people from La Serena said it felt like an intensity level 4. And I don't really see anything else oh, up over here towards the north. Okay. Um, intensity level 4. And even farther, we got a couple more here. Let me see if I can click on it. It won't well, let me. Okay. Intensity level 3. And then there was another one. Oh, wow. That's surprising. Intensity level 5. And that was really quite... Here are some of the felt reports that were sent into EMSC. Um, 187 miles south said it was a little strong. Another report 182 miles south uh, says it was strong and long. Another one uh, says it was super strong. Another report says it was strong. They were in their vehicle which was large and their vehicle was shaking um, like a shaker. This one here said the vibration was fast and they did have the, some things fall. All right, 119 miles northeast there in Chile. The shaking was long and the intensity was a long duration. Strong movement, lots of shaking, not enough to go outside. That was 192 kilometers north. So that would be about 120 miles north. 204 kilometers south. So that would be about 126 miles. Said it was silent. I guess they didn't hear it, but they did feel the shaking. It lasted for about three minutes. And the motion was circular. It felt lo loud with noise and was extensive. Another one here says um, it was large. This one here said it was very smooth. The TV and the lamp in the kitchen swayed. Now that one was 517 kilometers south. They posted they were in Santiago, but we got a different location. So that would be about 321 miles south. 323 miles south, it says mild rolling but not for an extended duration, 20 seconds or so, fifth floor. So intensity level six is what USGS gave it. Felt by all, many frightened and ran outdoors, falling plaster and chimneys, small damage. So going to Google Earth, it was offshore. Here's the location of that earthquake. It wasn't uh, maybe about 21 miles 
in depth here you can see we got the south american subduction zone and this is part of the nazca plate let me bring it out move this over this subduction zone is one of the longest subduction zones in the world about 7500 miles and yeah is responsible for a lot of large earthquakes back in 1960 not far from here there was a magnitude 9.6 earthquake there's different estimates about how many people died from that earthquake anywhere from a thousand to six thousand people when this earthquake happened the rupture of the fault along there was over 500 miles long yep the plates are a moving things are increasing around the world lots of large earthquakes so what are your thoughts put your comments down below please share my videos um, please subscribe please be prepared and i'll talk to you later god bless you Bye.